Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelos and that's a video tutorial coming from Sinjicookie.com for Max Cookie. Uh, this time we continue to, to, uh, to work uh, on the, uh, the uh, natural environment with plants series we just started and we'll have to work on more plants, we have to tune the rendering, we have to uh, work a little bit on the uh, trees we created and we have to add also the grass. So, uh, the first thing we'll try to do is to see if we have uh, another interesting plant that can be used there in the AC extended. So let's create another foliage and let's see what we have there. We have the pine, the palm and I like to see if we have some plants that can be used or there. maybe we can use this one so let's create it okay we have it then let's open the material editor it is coming and let's create a new folder and let's call it uh, river plant and there we'll pick the material from this one okay back there and let's see what we have okay we have really a simple map and material and later we'll fix it so uh, I like to create another um, multi scatter. So let's select the terrain and let's go in multi scatter and let's create. Okay. Again, you see that we have. as distribution mesh the terrain I'm expanding the panel there okay and now I like to scatter this mesh but we have to decide where so we can make a copy of this line sorry I scatter the line this one let's go in the top edit and we'll clone this line and this line will became line 002 let's make a copy okay now we go in the selection and we say to create an outline in this way let's remove outline let's close and let's go in isolation okay then we can select the vertices for example, there and there. I'm making uh, uh, some changes to uh, the map there to have a little bit of grass 
also on the river. To have more uh, deformation there, we can do something really, really simple. And I mean, we can go there and select the refine, and we'll start adding more points. So you see the line now I uh, uh, have has a lot of detail and we'll add detail also there. That's a way, obviously you can use different way, you can use also uh, some maps to control where you have to put more points but it should be enough to create a good distribution in a really fast way okay then we can select a noise modifier can set to for example let's start with 3 meters 50 meters okay so you see it's really irregular let's exit from the isolation So now we can select the other uh, multi-scatter we just created. Let's wait for the selection list. Okay, multi-scatter 002. And we'll use again the border spline, but this time we'll use the line 002. Let's select the first the first multi scatter and set to off so we can work just on the first one. And line zero zero two is this one. But obviously we have to work a little bit more on the uh, on the spline because actually it is seeing the spline as two splines so we have to pick there uh, let's go there and let's say that we have the segments is deleted and there's one two so back to the vertices we can connect this one so we can use the connect and the connect okay now it should works back in the scene let's pick the move to scatter two Okay, we inverted 
the usage, so we have to map the plants just there. Um, now I'd like to have a bigger scale for the the smash, and I think maybe uh, 500, 1000, because the plants is really really uh, simple, but it should be good in this way. Okay. And let's see if uh, it can work in render. So we have more rotation. You see maybe 15 over this axis and 20 over the other axis. And we need for sure more of it. Let's see if 10,000 is enough. You see, it's not so much. It's a good beginning, but it's not so much. So let's try double. So 20,000. And then back there to say that we like to have just 1,000 preview with a box. Let's go to save this scene. Save as, and we copy this name, create a new folder, let's use the same name, sorry, This one is the part two. Okay, uh, I like to make a test render just using this multi scatter to see if it is working fine. I don't want to use the displacement to be faster, and it should be okay. The pull is really low, and that's enough. Just a really fast preview. You see it is rendering. We need for sure a lot more plants because it is really low number. So uh, let's imagine to do the same rendering uh, using a, a more and more plants. So let's try to say maybe seven to five thousand and let's see what happen it is a little bit better than before and I like to change a little bit the uh, the maps we are using the the spline we are using Because you see there we have less plants. It is not going inside the water and I like to have the plants inside the water. So let's check from top. Let's set two of the plants. And you know we have to work more on this area. So let's select line two and then select the vertices. It will be not so simple because you see we have a lot of points but we can use the control key to make a multi selection. And then we can move it. Then we select maybe 
just the area and then this one and then again this area so we have some variation there back on the camera and we can select again the multi scatter number two and you see that now we have the plants also there we need for sure more plants so we'll, uh, we'll try with 100,000 and let's see if we have the right amount of plant and actually it is better you see we have a lot of plants all over there we have to work also on the uh, uh, exposure control and the control of the colors because you see there we have too much lighting but I like the look it is going to to be there over the river okay then back to the to the first multi scatter I like to add also other other plants so let's go in the AC extended in foliage and let's see what we have we have this one the Bayamin tree and we have this one the American helm and this one can be maybe interesting we have obviously to check it let's rotate by 90 degree okay and let's add also this one you see that's uh, a, a tree with more stuffs all around so uh, we have to check also the material for the stuffs but I like to start working on the first multi scatter and you see we have this one and we say that this one is set to on and we add this one and this one so now I like to change also the percentage there we have 100% probability to have the pine then I like to have 50% probability to have the second tree there and maybe this one just 10% so we'll have really less then uh, save and we can see a preview maybe we have to check the scale of the trees and the plants we just put inside the scene because maybe now uh, the tree are too much little but we have to be sure and I like to add also other plants there Obviously, if you have the possibility to pay to pick some uh, library plants library with high quality plants, it will be really good because you can obtain a really high quality. Actually, we are using a really uh, simple mesh, uh, just using the the mesh coming from 3ds Max there, so it's not so so high quality. Uh, back there maybe uh, we need to have more trees so let's check there the number we have 1000 let's go for 3000 
so we'll have more trees. Uh, then checking the, the scale, I think we have to scale it, but uh, to do it we have to go there, inside the scale, we have 75%, let's say 125, 200. So you see the the trees now are more uh, are bigger than before. So uh, that's not bad actually, and uh, I like to check more more stuffs. And I mean we have no shaders there for the other trees, so we have to go there and let's call the first tree number two and another tree number three. The first one will have less maps and the other will have less maps. Let's go in this one, the basic helm, we have something like nothing. So we can go uh, to be really fast in the compact material editor and we can pick this one this one and this one. So we'll, we'll be, uh, we will be really, really fast. Let's copy the track and we can paste as a copy there, there and there. And the same can be done there. I'm doing copy because it's possible that we have cha to change something so it's better to have copies. Then you see there we have uh, the V-ray material for the, the grass and there we have just a simple material but we can go to have the same so we can copy and the second one we'll have no maps for the opacity. Then there we have the canopy is the same so we can copy this one and paste it as instance and there are two as an instance. There we have the leaves and we can use the same but we can copy there and then we can copy this material on the leaves there as a copy and then you see we have this map there we can copy this one okay we can do the same thing there so paste and then inside the maps in the opacity we can copy this one okay so we have all the shaders Really, really simple shaders, but they are ready. Uh, just to be sure, I'd like to make a test render. Let's select the camera and let's check. Okay, let's go in the environment. Let's go for B ray exposure control and we can use the V-Ray camera so we have the parameters from there and then if we need something different we can change it let's go in the renderer color mapping and let's try to have the Reinhardt Okay, you see that the scale now is better than before. But I'm not sure to use the Reinhardt. Now we start to use also the V-Ray frame buffer instead of the basic 
frame buffer from 3ds max let's see just how it looks and we need also a generator a gener uh, grass all around there that will be mixed with uh, this flower and grass also so we'll obtain a better look but in general I can say that actually the look is not bad we have just to tune some parameters add uh, uh, more plants to have a more realistic look and then we have to tune the the rendering parameters to obtain the final image obviously you see uh, there we have too much uh, the same plants all over so I like to prepare another plant that can be add there to obtain a better look and we have to check also this uh, the tree we add there because I think we have some problem there but we'll have the time to check everything so let's close and save okay so uh, now I like to add the grass and to add the grass we have two possibility we can model the grass and uh, the other plants but we we can lose a lot of time uh, you can use some libraries and you have to find it and buy it and uh, it is possible uh, or another way is to use the one Autodesk uh, website so uh, let's uh, select the first multi scatter and set to off and a second multi scatter and set to off. Um, the website I'm talking about is the Autodesk Seek, and this web, uh, website gives you the possibility to uh, browse between models and uh, other libraries you can use. And for example, you see there, uh, you see that website is seek.autodesk.com. Um, let's go there and you see that we have trees, plants so uh, there we have all the uh, scene we can use and we can select for example the dot max so we have there the possibility to make more selection uh, filter but for the moment we like just to to check for it and this one, for example, can be useful. I know that it is from uh, the Africa, but maybe we can use it. So let's pick it. And let's go for both this one. and uh, let's download to local and press I agree and we can save it you see our plants created with xfrog and that's a really good quality let's continue searching for more plants this one can be useful let's go for variation 1 5 and 9 and download and back again let's see other things we can use Maybe some flowers too can be useful, but I like to find this one, for example. Model 1, 2, and 3, and download. And let's go. I, I will search just for some plants so we normally use all the time to search for plants but you see you have a lot of possibility 
to download plants from there. We have a lot of tree and I hope we can find something that can be used. to create the grass. I like to pick this one. Variation 3, 4 and 5. So we have more variation. That's really really useful to create more complex setup. Let's see there, there and there. Okay so let's go for this one model 1, 2 and 3 let's see if we have something more one both three model okay so we have all we need I'm going in the right folder to pick all the plants copy I'm going in the right folder and you will find in the project folder too, but you can download all you like to have. Let's start importing some of it. I added some problem to download, so actually I have just three models, but we'll see if it is enough or not. Let's go there, inside the Dropbox. See, I have just this tree file, but we'll try to use and let's merge the other and the other two. Okay, now we try to have another multi scatter. Okay, and this one will have the three AG plants we just imported. We have to make it a little bit bigger. So inside, let's see the points, inside the scale, let's say maybe 400, 600. Okay, and uh, we'll have a complete variation on the Z axis and let's say maybe 15 and 20 on the other axis. Um, let's say 300, 750. Okay, uh, let's see what we have in rendering, but for the moment I save it and let's see it. we have a really low amount of plant okay let's select that both file and here zoom to it wow 
wireframe tools isolate let's give in a perspective we have all the plants on the same level okay uh, let's go in the material editor to check which kind of shader we have and we have actually nothing so let's go for a complete green so we'll select uh, this one and paste as copy and paste as copy and there we have this map but we have no the map so actually we can go to have one map coming from 3ds max we should have something so autodesk and let's go inside the maps we should use maybe this one let's go in a shaded mode and let's try to have a better scale there okay it is better than before perfect let's try to assign the same shader there because it is not so important actually okay let's render but let's recheck the displacement and render now we should have green plants but we have the white color for the for the the foliage so we have to recheck and uh, let's go there so we need this map on this one so let's make a copy and we can copy for example this one there as a copy and then we copy there as a copy and there we paste the new map now we should have everything green okay let's see the result seems not bad maybe we should make everything a little bit more little so let's stop and let's go in the multi scatter tree and let's change the scaling let's go for 150 350 so it's more little and maybe we need more plants so let's try with 200,000 and save so you see actually there is a really not bad we need maybe more plants there but you have to remember that we have the other plants and maybe we have to uh, to add more plants all around to create more variation in the meantime let's recheck with the other plants so we can decide also to have less plants for this typology there so maybe we can do it actually and we can use also the the line we created before so there using the H key we can decide for the line one so we should have this plants until there and then the other plants and now we can continue checking the other things so I like to add the multi scatter number two so we have the plants there and the multi scatter plants one so we should have actually everything at the right place so you see that's the preview and actually the quality is really not bad 
uh, we need just to create more variation. So we need more trees and more plants there. So we'll have to download more stuff from the Autodesk Seek uh, website and then finalize the scene. Actually, I'd like to start using also the frame buffer from uh, B-Ray. So we'll have the possibility to use completely all the uh, feature from uh, Chaos Group. So you see, we'll use this one for the moment. It works in the same way, so uh, we have just more features there and there. And we have also some hidden feature that we'll see maybe in the future. So now I like also to uh, work a little bit on the color correction there and we go in the color mapping we set the gamma, the gamma to dot do 2.2 and we we'll set the linear workflow we can render and you see that there the color are better than before but we have maybe more light and some stuffs are uh, we can see say brighter than before so we can stop, we can go to have, for example, 300 for the shutter speed. Let's recheck. And you see that now the lighting is more similar to the previous one we had. And we'll see also how much environmental fog we have actually to decide if it is okay or not. See, it is really an I value, so we can go inside the environment there, and we'll have the environmental effects there, and we can have more distance. So we can go for, for example, 600. And I like to check there what happened. That's the render region there inside the virtual frame buffer from Chaos Group. Now we have less fog, I think, but we have to decide if it is too less or too much. Maybe it is still too much. Let's try with double distance and let's see what happened. I can stop the recording so we can see together the result. I think that here it is really not bad. So um, I like just to check there for the reconnecting we have it but I like to see if we have more how it will looks it is too much let's go for two is still too much. Let's go for 1.5. Now it is better because you see it's not so dark. Okay, so I can render just a preview at full res so we can check together. 
that's block there and 900 and let's see with the displacement 2 but I have to remove the render region and okay so we'll see the result together later so you see that's the actual result and the quality is really not bad we have still to work on the uh, variation over the plants and add more detail and then finalize the image so in the next part we'll focus on randomization and adding more uh, plants and variations so we can make a final animation if we have time and finalize the project so for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for a new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com bye